man it's just very interesting how god mostly uses the opposite of things to actually level you up like god really 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 desires for all of us to be humble with humility you can hear clearer with humility you give people grace with humility you give other people mercy with humility you give yourself grace and mercy with humility there's just so many aspects to being humble and a lot of people in a lot of times most of everyone even myself included our shortcomings come through pride we all um feel like how i feel is first what i think is priority what i know stands above any other knowledge it's just very interesting that most of that is pride because at the end of the day if you can actually humbly say that even with my degrees even with my extensive knowledge i know nothing because there's so much to learn and just because you've spent 10 years in a specific category of information and subjects there's so many other information and subjects that you would need to learn and a lot of that even though we have a lot of degrees and even though we have a lot of uh, extensive knowledge in certain things the knowledge of human nature the knowledge of relationship the knowledge of human interaction and things of that sort is something that i feel we're going to be learning for the rest of our lives because God created everybody so unique and so different and a lot of the times it's hard to manage a lot of relationships and that's why some people intentionally sabotage them and in reality it makes sense but you have to realize that with even sabotaging things for you to feel better within yourself or maybe manage your relationships better or feel like you're a better person because you have less people to uh, manage um, you're still damaging people along that process so it's very interesting i think the extensive knowledge of human interaction is always going to cause us to be humble because everybody thinks differently everybody does not it's not on the same accord i might have someone who fully agrees to the doctrine and the religious aspect of what i believe but that doesn't mean that they agree to some of my personal choices they might think that they're going to do something else they may think that i might be wrong or they may just have a way that they do it and they don't quite understand the way that i do certain things so the the, the human interaction is something that i think we should all be humble about because you don't know what's going to trigger somebody you don't know what's going to set somebody back you don't know what's going to make someone else happy might not make the next person happy so we go off of just our past relationships with people and we try to bring that into new relationships we go off our past friendships and then we say oh i'm not going to do this with this person when what you used to do with an old friend the new friend might actually like so it's very interesting but honestly it's very humbling but i think the more and more we keep hitting brick walls with new people with people who've been in our lives for a while we think we might know them to a certain extent and then we push them away or they they push us away because we're all prideful in how we handle people and I can say for myself I've definitely have not had the best interactions with people you know I haven't always had any honestly even to this day I clash with some people sometimes you know because of just me not understanding certain things or me you know might be moving too quickly or me might thinking too quickly might say something too fast might say something might not say something and you know i don't judge people based off some of their mishaps i definitely just pay attention to a pattern of certain behaviors towards me personally um and other people as well but the interesting thing is that i think the more we humble ourselves to admit that i was wrong i had a different perspective um even with god we just move so quickly into certain things and then you know we don't go back to be like god i more than likely i didn't really go to you about this certain thing so now it's like i kind of messed up and i need to start from scratch and i need your help but a lot of times we hold on to that and because our pride we don't want to look funny in front of everybody we don't look crazy in front of other people we just operate in pride so well because that's our seems like the first nature of us is to focus on i i i and me 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 but the interesting thing is very humble. And I think if we could all humble ourselves, it would definitely do us so much more for our, the kingdom of God, for our relationships, um, just for people. Um, and I'm not saying to um, 
disregard any of your boundaries that's not what humble this is that's that's actually foolishness but to actually know what's necessary for your life um is great but also still understanding that other people might not have those same boundaries so giving them grace to not run over you but to give them grace and understanding and just letting things go um not running to everybody you know to say this that and the other about certain situations or other people or things like that you know we all just kind of feel we need to be justified in some of our actions so we do run you know we tell everybody and there's people who are going to vouch for us there are some people who might correct us you know but the corrective ones are a beautiful thing because they're the ones that are going to god put in your life to uh humble you and um yeah it's just very under beautiful because the bible says that those that humble themselves shall be exalted you know so the only way to reach a greater level in life is to walk in humility and that's to all people people who have mental illnesses as far as not even being able to care for themselves at all like can't even I used to drive vans for this um, non-emergency medical transportation company and I was really really scared like when I first started the job because I'd never had worked with uh, people who had disability they had a lot of um, autistic people there but they were older than me some of them were old enough to be my grandma or to be my mom but they operated like 10 year olds 11 year olds so it was very very interesting and um, after a while like, God really was humbling me on that job for me to not treat them like they don't know anything like I just kind of started to listen to them and started to get into a groove with them and honestly knew what they wanted you know and even if they had a little attitudes and stuff like that I just would talk to them you know like a normal person because they are normal people you know so it's just um and I think we think that with normal quote-unquote normal people who have the ability to do a lot more for themselves um we're not really gracious towards them because we feel like oh they should know this already or they should they're older than me they should be not operating like this or they're younger than me they shouldn't be telling me certain things you know but in reality it's just humbling yourselves like I um, even have a friend who's probably about eight years younger than me and I actually listen to some of the wise counsel that she has because she's able to see things that I can't because she's outside of my life outside of my triggers outside of my responsibilities outside of my you know way of my own thoughts and my own you know hang-ups that I can actually get some wise counsel from her and I do, you know, get some wise counsel from her at times. And I don't think that that's foolishness. I, I I think that's called being humble because this is a person. This person actually matters. Their voice matters. Their existence matters. Their feelings matter. So I'm going to treat them as such. And I think if we walk into that realizing that God is wanting us to treat people in that case of being more humble towards them. The Bible has a scripture and I'm going to post it where it says, when I was sick, you comforted me. When I was in jail, you visited me. When I was hungry, you gave me meat. It's uh, It goes on the verge of that type of thing. And what God is basically stating is God is not always hungry. God isn't, you know, um, in jail, you know, but what about the people that are? What about the people who are poor? What about the people who are hungry? What about the people who are homeless? What about the people who need your help? Like, did you actually put forth an effort to help them or did you ignore them? Did you treat them like their existence didn't matter? When they're asking you for money, do you just act like they don't have a life or maybe some of the circumstances in their life cause them to be there and not their choices? And some of them may be, but in reality, there are some people that just need to keep bumping their head over and over again. But are you going to be humble enough to see that person for who they are and not for where they are? You know, and I think a lot of times we as people really fail in that area, um, even for some people who don't even agree to Christians or agree to people believing in Christ and stuff like that. Um, are you really looking at that person as a human being? You know, or, you know, this person still has an experience and this person is, has a choice and they're choosing what they want and you could just fully accept that and just be that. And there's Christians that believe, you know, that are, are, are really completely against other people, you know, just negative towards them. And in reality, I'm not saying allow people in your life and to go against your boundaries. I'm saying, do you actually see this person as a person who can actually fathom and understand things because they're a soul, you know, there's spirits inside them. So your spirits are still going to connect in some type of way. And if you are humble enough, I believe God will even allow them to see things differently. But um, yeah, just definitely been just thinking a lot about people. And I think that's why um, sometimes I'm very gracious to people and a lot of people don't understand that. But then, you know, I'm not saying I'm perfect because I do have 
some hangups and some not so great traits well on myself um and those are some areas that i'm asking god to help me with i do know um that doesn't it doesn't disregard my ability to see other people and see that there's a history or a long line of things that are causing them to respond and react the way that they do and that doesn't mean i have to allow people in my life but that doesn't mean i have to be prideful enough to just really really damage people's reputation and character because i don't agree with something or they did something to me personally no um the bible does tell us to pray for those who you know pray for our enemies you know so uh, that's just what i practice a lot even if it is very hard and i'm not saying this as um i'm a better than you type video or what i do you should do now i'm saying what god acts and requires of us is what stands i didn't make the rules i don't make the rules i don't try to make my own rules i try to live according to the word and if the word states for us to humble ourselves we should definitely take heed to that and it's beautiful because god does give us a choice um and that's him even being humble towards us to allow us to choose but at the end of the day the consequences are on us whatever we choose and every choice that we make every single day is going to lead us to whatever place we choose you know and honestly when we get to the places that we choose we'll know fully understand why we are in the place that we are and that's a beautiful thing if you know you're you've chosen every day to humble yourself because you're going to reap the benefits of your reward but if you chose to do the negative things and walk in pride and unforgiveness and all this envy and strife and things like that then you'll know the consequences of that reward and that reward is not good um but yeah, I just wanted to definitely come on and just, uh, I've been trying to work on some of the, the videos I haven't been on in a while and I do want to commit to that again. So I'm just going to continue to post videos. Um, yeah, my name is Sanisha F. Definitely you can find me on all social media from um, TikTok to uh, Facebook to YouTube, Instagram at Sanisha F. I'll put my links and everything in the bio and I'll also uh, show them here on the screen. But definitely like this video if you think you can resonate with it and if you think that you've learned something or if you um just have any questions definitely comment below but share this with someone you know that um can definitely benefit from this or you know just share to get it out there but i definitely appreciate you i love you and i definitely look forward to um doing some more videos